Hey sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. In today's video, I want to show off an awesome gift that a fellow Wade Boggs collector sent me. Now, before I go and just show this uh, item off, I, I want to give some background and context uh, to the group of uh, fellow Wade Boggs uh, collectors that I'm a part of, and more specifically about this particular item and what it means not only for our group but the card community in in general how a group of collectors get together make friendships um, and just make the hobby much more enjoyable so go back five six maybe even seven years ago just haphazardly Fellow Wade Boggs collectors, we would find out who each other, you know, who we are, get contact information, and just start chatting back and forth. Well, it, over time, there were about four of us that were really hardcore Wade Boggs collectors. Each in our own right could be considered a super collector of Wade Boggs. And around 2015, we decided to give ourselves a name, um, to, to what to, to call ourselves. And we, we settled on the Boggs Trust. And it's just a, a way for us to have just this little group of Wade Boggs collectors. And, and each of us has our own little niche in collecting. Yeah, there's a little bit of competition that we have on, on certain cards. But in general, we try to help each other out and build our collections. And we're uh, excited to find out about the latest pickups that all of us get, whether it be cards, memorabilia, you name it. Well, in, as I said, in 2015, we formed the Boggs Trust. Now, the, the unofficial sort of motto of our group is uh, preserving the cards and memorabilia of Wade Boggs, one of the greatest third basemen in the history of baseball. So we look at ourselves as sort of like curators, and, and our collections are like museums. And our goal is to try to you know, preserve, uh, collect, maintain um, as much Wade Boggs stuff as we can. Um, who knows if anyone else would be interested in, in the future. Uh, but it's been a, a fun and exciting journey. So uh, the group started off originally with four members. And over the last couple of years, we've added uh, two other uh, Wade Boggs uh, passionate collectors to our group. So now we are a group of six. And for the most part, we, we text each other, you know, call occasionally, but text each other almost on a daily basis of stuff that we've seen, stuff that we've picked up, um, you name it. Um, so it has been a great experience. Now, one of the members of the Boggs Trust decided to embark on a, on a project. And fortunately, five of the six of us were able to attend the 2021 National in Chicago. And we had a chance to, to meet up. Um, I don't think all five of us got together at once, but seeing each other here and there, uh, chatting, having, having a great time. Uh, one of the members, Nate, um, was talking with us, not specifically, he didn't want to give anything away, uh, but just some talking and thoughts and experiences and different things like that. Um, before I get further into the into the story another thing that's really nice about our Boggs Trust and I, I did briefly mention it is that we own we all have our own little little niche for me my ultimate goal is to get as many different Wade Boggs baseball cards as I can now of course I obviously dabble in memorabilia uh, we have another a collector Rich who we call the Boggs father he is way over the top in memorabilia, has a ton of cards. He is at the upper echelon of Wade Boggs craziness. But we have another uh, collector who is more of a hoarder. Uh, I forget his latest count. I think he's said he's at 50 or 60,000 total 
Boggs curse. So he'll just buy multiples of, of stuff. Uh, has a huge collection. I think some memorabilia as well. Another one of the Boggs Trust members um, deals with game use stuff and very unique items. Um, Nate, who I'm particularly uh, speaking about here, um, he's more into the, the the rare, the one of one, the unique stuff. Has some game used memorabilia, uh, some um, canceled checks uh, from early on in Wade's uh, career. I think possibly even minor league uh, check or something like that that he's endorsed on the back. Uh, unique items, and then the the, the last one um, is not quite on the hoarder side. Not quite. He's on the the rare cards has a ton of one of ones uh just has a ton of cards and just buys what he you know likes and sees and stuff so we all have our little niches combined um it's probably going to be hard to beat of something that's out there that not one of us has um, okay so back to the story and again i'm sorry this is taking long but i want to give some context and background uh, to just how special uh, this gift uh, is is to me and from the reaction I got from the, uh, the the other members of the Boggs Trust, how each of them really appreciated what Nate did for for all of us. So, again, this this gift involved two other parties. One, Tanner Jones. Uh, if you're not familiar with Tanner, um, he's on a bunch of Facebook groups and on uh, YouTube. I think it's Tan Man Baseball Fan. Huge baseball card and baseball. Uh, fan and fanatic but another thing that he does is he does custom cards so he'll take a, a concept or an idea um, sometimes it involves cut signatures sometimes game use memorabilia whatever the case may be and puts a unique twist to it great design concept and so he's done that for a lot of collectors out there so Nate reached out to Tanner and wanted him to create six cards, one for him and one for the other five members of the Boggs Trust with a game used item. Now, as I mentioned, Nate has a few game used pieces in his collection. There was one item that he's had for a while. And basically, he, I think he said he, you know, has stored in his safe. He doesn't really look at it. Um, and he felt that he wanted to share that with the rest of the members of the Boggs Trust. And so he handed that item over, sent it to Tanner, and Tanner created six cards out of that game-used item. And I'll tell you what that is when I show you off the, the, the card. But he also got Wade Boggs involved in the effort. Um, he sent these six cards down to Wade, told him the story, what he wanted to do, his concept, why he wanted to do this. And Wade was like, yeah, hey, that sounds like a great idea. So Nate sent these items down to Wade. Wade signed all six, sent them back to Nate, and Nate got them to us. And each one of the six is sort of a custom piece. Um, but I do want to read, he, Nate sent a very detailed and very personal letter. I'm not going to read it, um, but he, he did end the letter with this. Um, and Nate, I hope you don't mind uh, me sharing this, but he says, I, I want all of you to know that I appreciate you, appreciate the group, and love the friendship we have developed over the years. Please enjoy, enjoy the custom-made cards that are serial numbered and personalized to each of you. The biggest six Wade Boggs super collectors. So with that, I'm going to turn the camera around and show off this amazing piece of cardboard, memorabilia, autograph, artwork uh, that I think I have in my collection. Here is what Nate had created, designed, or had Tanner design and create and have Wade Boggs sign. It is a custom oversized card. It is just the size of, a, of an open booklet card. All right, so it's pretty much the size of two cards side by side. And it includes an authentic game-worn hat swatch. 
Uh, Nate had a Tampa Bay game used hat as part of his collection, and he thought that it would be a great idea. And and I agree. I know cutting up a piece of game used uh, memorabilia. Um, to some may be sacrilegious, but card companies do it all the time. That's how they get their bat and jersey and patch pieces. Um, but he wanted to share this part of his memorabilia collection with all of us. So he said it was just sitting around and he decided to make better use of it and just show how, again, how appreciative he was about the group that we have and our interactions together. So Again, it's an authentic game worn um, hat swatch. The top of the T or the uh, end of the T there and the top of the B in Tampa Bay. And of course, Wade signed it in a nice bold signature. Wade Boggs Hall of Fame 05 authentic signature. And then on the back, this is where it gets custom just for me. Now, as part of his research and talking and stuff, um, Wade Boggs has uh, several quotes, you know, attributed to him. And so he wanted to know out of certain quotes, which one we liked the best. And this was sort of an out of the blue question. I didn't think anything of it, but it was Nate's intent to put the particular quote of Wade that we like the most onto this card. And this is the one I chose. Our lives are not determined by what happens to us, but how we react to what happens, not by what life brings us, but the attitude we bring to life. So that was the quote I chose. And he put this on the card. Um, obviously put some of the stats, 2005 Hall of Fame, 328 career batting average, 12 time all-star, two time gold glove award, uh, winner, eight-time Silver Slugger Award, 96 World Series champion. And that is a picture of the actual game used hat that Tanner used to put these cards together. And this is, there were only six of them made. This was, just happened to be number four. Uh, below it says, this custom jumbo card was created by Tanner, specifically as a gift for Wade Boggs Super Collector member John Reichard from Nathan Fleming. Enjoy your card. And at the very bottom, it says authentic game worn hat obtained from Celeb Z direct from the Wade Boggs private collection. And the, the hat has a specific, you know, authentication hologram serial number like PSA DNA type of thing. Um, but yeah, just again, showing off the front. I, when, when I got this, well, first, I didn't look at the card. I read Nate's letter and I knew when I got done with the letter that this was going to be something special. And when I saw this card, my jaw just dropped. Um, I had to pick up the phone. We had a great conversation. Um, I had to thank him over the phone, not through a text message or something. We were on the phone for probably at least an hour talking about this project, talking about our uh, Boggs Trust, our group, our friendships. Um, this truly means a lot to me as a super collector not only from another super collector or wade boggs collector but the fact that wade himself participated in this project and had these signed for nate uh just to complete the this this awesome card i i don't know how else to uh describe it but this is definitely one of the highlights of my Wade Boggs card memorabilia collection, and I will uh, treasure this forever. So uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think uh, uh, about this Tanner's design? I know he's done some some great work. Um, do you have, or are you a member of a collecting group where you've done maybe something similar to this? Would love to know uh, the story about that as well. If you enjoyed this video, would appreciate you supporting my channel and hitting that like button. If you missed my previous video, you can check it out right here. And if you're currently not subscribed and you enjoy watching videos featuring vintage and modern baseball cards, you can subscribe to my channel right here. And better yet, click that bell to be notified next time I upload a video. That's all I have for you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.